Mark Rogers, TV, talking some college football. And, of course, over the past few weeks, we've been talking to the next wave of college football players, and we bring in Davion Nixon. He's a defensive tackle who signed with the Iowa Hawkeyes here in the National Signing Day class of 2017. Davion, how are you doing this evening? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I appreciate you jumping on board with us here. And I uh, just want to talk about your decision. So uh, you're from... Indian Trail High School there in Wisconsin, obviously had a stellar career there, uh, chose to go to Big Ten country and stay right there in a sense in the region and and uh, sign on with the Hawkeyes. So what did you like about the football program, the campus, the academic situation, everything involved that uh, brought you uh, to uh, the black and gold? Uh, well, I like the team. I like the atmosphere, the coaches, just the people and fans and, and all the professors that I talked to and everyone at Iowa that just it made it feel like a, a home environment. Um, the campus was just beautiful. It was amazing walking around, getting to see everything and all the all the places and all the models and remodeling they're about to do and stuff like that. It was it was amazing. Davion, uh, you had some challenges academically to get yourself eligible. You really rallied uh, in the last few semesters to, to make that happen. Talk about uh, that challenge and, and maybe what you learned from it uh, that can help you going forward. Uh, just freshman and sophomore year, I was uh, uh, mainly a, a person that would just play, like, play football and didn't care about my grades and stuff like that. I, I joked around and, and really didn't care about uh, getting any looks and stuff because I was still kind of immature. And then junior year started clicking where I noticed that I was getting looks from different schools and stuff. So I, I had to make a change to, um, to better myself. And I did that on the field, but I still didn't do it quite um, towards academically. And then towards the end of junior year, um, a school told me that there's no way I can get an offer because of my grades. So it kind of just clicked right then, basically, when they told me that I wasn't good enough to be on their team, that I got to change something in order in order for people to start actually recognizing me and for my full potential was academically, academically and athletically. So it kind of just turned to a point where I was refusing to fail. And that's like where I, it clicked and it just, it just kept clicking for me and I kept on it. Uh, I've been going through trying to keep my head in the game, stay focused in classes and do everything I can even more to, to make sure my grades are good and make sure I, I'm eligible to play freshman year. We're talking to Davion Nixon. He's a defensive tackle for the Iowa Hawkeyes looking toward his freshman campaign here this fall. So Davion, as you well know, I was known for hard nosed grinding type front sevens up front, looking specifically at the defensive line under coach uh, Reese Morgan. What kind of style of play do you think is the fit here with what you bring to the table versus what you see out of the Hawkeyes? I think their style of play is is a, a bunch of, uh, a lot of slanting, a lot of big, hard, aggressive push up front. And it's basically just a grind up front. It's just head to head, just a big fight up front and I like the physicalness that they bring and I feel like I have the same ability that uh, any any defense lineman that Iowa has probably even more because I feel like I am a great player and I feel like I can contribute to Iowa in a great way um playing defensive tackle it's just it's a lot of fun because you're basically taking on two people and I've always been taught that if you get double teamed that means you're doing something right so taking on two people at once and, and winning that battle is just a great feeling I love playing people to tackle and I think that it will be a great feeling as soon as I get to Iowa as well so Davion let's take that a step further so yeah taking on two guys winning that battle being able to throw them both off and make a play that's a great feeling that that shows that you're really dominating up front but obviously there are times when the offensive linemen are doing their job, especially when they're double teaming. And you're basically in a situation where they're giving you a lot of respect. They're doing their job. They're taking you out of the play, but you're opening up things for, for other people to, to clean it up. Um, mm -hmm. Does that become frustrating when, when you're not able to, to get in on the play, but, but you have the satisfaction of knowing that you are uh, tying things up up front, tying up two blockers and allowing other, other people to make the play. It gets frustrating after a while. Um, basically, it gets, it gets frustrating when you, you get beat multiple times. But but at the end of the day, you realize that in order for you to uh, 
to get double teamed, you have to be doing something right at the beginning. So when you do get double teams, it frees up a lot of a different like linebackers and and cornerbacks or people that's coming in on the edges and stuff. It frees up a lot of a lot of people to make the play as well. And at the end of the day, you just gotta realize that it's a team sport and anything you can do to help the team win is is a great feeling. So. Davian, what did uh, Iowa say about you when they were recruiting you in regards to what your style of play is, what your characteristics are as a football player that really made them want you and other programs that were going after you? What what was the consensus the coaches said, hey, this is why this guy is an exceptional football player? They basically told me, uh, a lot of schools told me about my arms. They said that they love how long my arms are and they love the height that I have and just how quick I am to be my size. They said that for a person that's my size, I carry it very well and I'm, I'm very quick on my feet. And they haven't seen that in a lot of a lot of people. So it was just basically that and me, I, my willingness to never give up and to do everything I can to help our team win. And Davion, you're 6'4", 285, something in that range. Is that accurate? Yes, sir. Okay. Now you're in a situation where you're fin finishing up there in high school. You're looking forward to 2017 as a Hawkeye. You're going to hit camp with a whole bunch of guys about 20 or so that first week of August. Are you going to have much contact with coaches and what's going on with the football program before that? Uh, yes, I am. Um, I'm actually standing in contact with Coach Wallace right now. Um, uh, training with my father right now. We have they sent us uh, workout books, so I'm, I'm trying to get ahead of the game, so I'm trying to work out and get ready, physically ready, so that way when I get there, then I have everything I need. I'm, I'm just flowing right in with the team and stuff like that. Talking to defensive tackle Davion Nixon of the Iowa Hawkeyes. So once you hit the field in August, uh, it's a first year out of what's most likely four there in Iowa City, so it's a long haul, long development process. Uh, do you have any thoughts about what you would like to accomplish this first year? Uh, my first year, I want to get bigger, faster, and stronger, and I want to just develop the 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 play of the team and the feel of the team. And I want to be uh, – I basically just want to learn freshman year. I want to learn the routines, the ropes, so that way when it comes down to sophomore towards junior year, I'm, I'm better at what I'm doing. So that way when I do get on the field, I know exactly what to do to, to help out the team. All right, it's the Iowa Hawkeyes with another edition and Davion Nixon, defensive tackle, just signed in 2017 and looking forward to joining the Hawkeyes this summer and this fall under Kirk Ferentz. Uh, Davion, we appreciate it. The best of luck to you. And uh, again, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.